This is a garden tour for June 4th, 2023. Yeah, starting with a bit of an announcement here. I've been having harder and harder time in keeping up with the the weekly the uploads on a certain day, so I'll probably be more erratic with my luck uploads coming up up in the future here. But that can be a good thing as well, because if I'm not sticking to a, a specific day, I can you know, do uploads for you know, special occasions that I might have missed. You know, as for the garden, things are still recovering from that, that heat wave we had, so there's still quite a bit of damage. But things are starting to get better. First off, I harvested up my corn. I didn't really get much off of it, but that was kind of to be expected. The top half of this was, was uncovered, so I imagine birds or squirrels or something got to it. As for what I got in the bottom half here, it was about break even with the seeds I grew versus it was what I planted. So, it's okay. Imagine if I he had been more attentive you know, with them and planted them in, in an area where the critters wouldn't have gotten to them so easily. I probably would have ended up with more. <clears throat> My Everglade tomato who cuts and are over here and some of them are starting to produce there. I'll be taking the, the suckers and replanting them and later on as they get bigger. I grabbed some cacti from around the neighborhood. It's a, I believe, prickly pear. So it's an edible variety. My LD tomatoes are kind of struggling, but they're holding in there. Hopefully they'll bounce back. They have a bit of die out in the tip here, which is very concerning. But so far they haven't died completely. And some extra you know, violet jaspers over here. This avocado is really struggling. I'm not sure it's going to make it by the looks of it. But I'm giving it a shot anyway. If it doesn't make it, I'll just transfer the other one into here. Here's a picture of the other one. It's doing better than the other one, than that one, obviously. It looks like I need to do a little bit of fertilizing with it. I'll have to do that today. Uh, one nice thing is I got my yard logging beans planted up and they've already sprouted in a fairly short period of time. I'm hoping this trellis will, uh, will work for them and they'll grow up and I'll get some nice, nice yard logging beans out of this. So, the way things have been going lately, I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> Speaking about things going badly, my watermelon has struggled. Probably wouldn't have struggled quite, quite so much if, if I didn't have the chickens coming over here and trying pecking at it every day. But it's sort of expected. So, it's that time of year for some reason. I'm going to have to figure out when I can plant the stuff or when I can't. Because obviously, planting it around this time of year, not working. The extra stuff over here, actually, it looks pretty decent and for the most part. This is just some like, random extra stuff I had, I had sitting around, and I just figured I'd just put it here and see how it does. This actually gave me an idea of maybe trying the Ethiopian kale during the summer. It might be interesting to see how, how that goes. I usually plant it during my winters. But as you can see, that Ethiopian kale right there is doing pretty good. This one's the Ethiopian kale, just in case you were wondering. Over in this bed, I have my violet jasper tomatoes are struggling to survive. I'm not expecting them to survive. But this bed is pretty much ready to go. So I need just to clear it out and figure out what I'm going to plant in here next. This bed over here is also pretty much ready to go. And I just need to again clear it out and plant up what I want. 
for a bit of contrast, just to show that uh, what we're looking at is indeed uh, just a placement problem. These are the same Violet Jasper tomatoes over here. And so we got a little bit of leaf curls probably due to all the recent watering we've, we've had. I have to back off on that a little bit. And see how much healthier these are doing over here. This area is just a little bit more shaded than, than the other area. So that's probably you know, what's called losing the difference here. During that drought, even this aloe was struggling, but it's our, starting to get green back. Like it, it turned sort of almost an orange color you know, without, without the water. It, it's looking better now. Got my pineapple here, and looks like I need to do some weeding here. Uh, my little, little experiment of growing pineapple in a grow bag seems to be doing very well. I may have to do more of this in the future. That thing is extremely looking extremely healthy. I've moved my rosemary out, out to the side here. This katuk was uh, struggling in the back, so I moved it up here you know, up front. Looks like I need to trim that part off again. These limbs keep dying hang on me a little bit, but it's starting to bounce back. Uh, looks like my ginger is struggling a little bit, but it's growing. Probably needs a little bit more water or shade or something. Actually, looking at probably would be shade that it needs. The storm knocked off a lot of the branches on the, the tree, you giving more light in this area than I had before. Well, finishing up with the uh, rain, we did finally get some rain here, and looking like it may possibly rain again today. Uh, probably because of the storm that's out out in the Gulf right now. So. So at least it's a good thing for me. And that's about all I have right now.